Welcome to the first quarter awards for our fourth graders. Today, I'm going to be honoring students who have worked extra hard, especially during this crazy time of distance learning. Um, there are some different kinds of awards that we'll be giving out today. There are three types of academic awards. There's an honorable mention that begins at 87%. There is an honor roll that begins at 90% and a principal's honor roll that begins at 97%. We are also handing out two behavior awards according to their conduct grades. A gold behavior award means that they have received all O's in the conduct categories of obedience, responsibility, safety, and respect. Silver behavior award means that you have an average of S's and O's and no U's. Um, we also will be handing out a perfect attendance and a reading award. So as we go through these awards, I'd like to also remember that not everyone always gets an award for a lot of different reasons. So if you didn't get an award, I wanted to make sure you to know that as long as you're trying hard, that's what counts. An award is going to be an extra fun thing to have, but hopefully by the next quarter you'll be able to um, work through whatever issues that there were and you can receive an award. So I would like to start first with Riley Balbalin. She receives an honorable mention and a gold behavior award. Congratulations Riley. Now I have Esteban Barajas. He is receiving a perfect attendance, honor roll, and silver behavior award. Good job. Casey Bittner is receiving perfect attendance, honor roll, and a silver behavior award. Good job. Emily Fernandez, perfect attendance, honor roll, and a gold behavior award. Extra good job, Emily. Rakudo Ferrucci is receiving a perfect attendance award, honor roll, and silver behavior. Nice work. Caesar Lamelli is receiving a Silver Behavior Award. Nice job. Julian McKissick is receiving Honor Roll and Silver Behavior. Way to go. Zyra Navarro is Honor Roll, Gold Behavior, and a Reading Award. Carson Offfield, Silver Behavior Award for you. Nice job. Gabriel Rivera, you are receiving Perfect Attendance Honor Roll, Gold Behavior Award, and a Reading Award. Nice job. Aaron Salas, you are receiving Honorable Mention Gold Behavior Award also. Way to go. Aliana Torres, you have a Silver Behavior Award. And Audrina Zapata, you have a Perfect Attendance Honor Roll and Gold Behavior Award. So that concludes the awards for this quarter. Thank you for all your hard work, especially during this crazy time of distance learning. And I hope to see everyone on the list for next quarter. Keep up the great work. You reach down from the sky Leaving heaven's throne I was meant to die You wouldn't let me go The riches of your grace I could not afford my guilt has been erased Now I'm forever yours Oh, what a price you pay Trading the highest place You laid down your crown for me How great a king
It's yours is the victory Oh, what a price you pay Trading the highest place You lay down your crown for me How great a king For all you are and all you've done, we lift you up, lift you up. For all you are and all you've done, we lift you up, we lift you up. For all you are and all you've done, we lift you up. We lift you up for all you are and all you've done. We lift you up, lift you up for all you are and all you've done. We lift you up, lift you up for all you are and all you've done. For all you are and all you've done, we lift you up, lift you up. For all you are and all you've done, we lift you up, lift you up. Good morning, Anthem, and congratulations to all of you who achieved first quarter awards. Uh, let's keep working hard during this second quarter so that we can keep achieving more and more. I can't believe that it's already November. We're nearing the end of this year. 2020 has been a crazy year and we are almost at the end. Um, as we enter November, I just want to uh, give you a quick thought today on a topic that we're going to be discussing for the month of November <clears throat> during our chapel times. Uh, there's a holiday that happens at the end of November. Can you think about what that is? What is that holiday? It is, yes, it is Thanksgiving. At the very end of November, we have uh, about half of a school week off to just relax and be with family and friends and reflect on what we're thankful for. I want us to do that all throughout the month of November. We're going to be talking about the topic of thankfulness. I want to read a verse out of First Thessalonians. This is a book in the New Testament and the author here is kind of giving his final thoughts as he leaves this group of Christians. He's leaving and he's saying, this is, this is guys, this is how you should live. This is how you should operate day to day. In chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, it says, Celebrate always, pray constantly, 
and give thanks to God no matter what circumstances you find yourself in. There's a few things in this verse that I, that, um, that I like because it, sa- it starts with saying, celebrate always. He starts by saying, you know what? Always be celebrating something. Whatever it is in your life that is worth celebrating, celebrate always. There's always something we can find that is worth celebrating. Pray constantly. Always be connected with God. Always be having that conversation going because whether you're in a good time in life or a hard, bad time in life, God is always there. He always wants to hear our thoughts and our prayers and He is with us through whatever season of life we're in. He ends saying, give thanks to God no matter what circumstances you find yourself in. Now, 2020 has been a crazy year for all of us. Uh, Some of us find ourselves in okay circumstances. Some of us find ourselves and our families in very difficult circumstances. And here it says, no matter what your circumstance, give thanks to God. So as we talk through uh, thankfulness this month, I want you to begin thinking about what is it in your life that you are thankful for. Uh, No matter, like I said, no matter where we're at in life, there's been times in my life where I've felt so down and just so things are not going well and it is just bad, like bad, bad. But even when I think back to those times, I was able to find little small blessings, little things to be thankful for, even in the midst of crazy, crazy storms. And then when things are going well in my life, well, I've got lots to be thankful for, and and I'm just so thankful that I can be in kind of a smooth sailing, good, peaceful time in life. We're all either in one place or another or somewhere in between, and we can always be thankful. When we're thankful for what we've been blessed with, when we're thankful for what God has done for us, it makes us more peaceful people. It makes us more content. It makes us more pleasant to be around. It makes us um, just have a, a mindset that is has hope and has peace and is grateful. So let's focus our hearts on thankfulness this month. It's the beginning of the month. Thanksgiving's not till the end, but all throughout this month, let's focus on what we're thankful for. So I want you to be thinking about that. Even now, think about a few things uh, in your mind about what's going on in your life that you might be thankful for because God, uh, He deserves our praise, He deserves our worship, but He also deserves our thanks because He's blessed us with so much. Have a great rest of the week. Uh, Think about what you're thankful for, and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.